Welcome back to What RT Noobs for General Disturbance. This is a 105 Leth H18B2, otherwise known as a Lethe, Leaf Blower, or Fifi La Piu Piu. And this one is on the north spawn of Roebuck under the command of Steel Mike. Now, this is going to be a fairly quick battle, and Steel Mike's going to do something very unusual that he's probably not done that many times before. Well, he's backing up to start with. He's got a 105mm light field howitzer and it looks like he's going to situate himself just behind this bush and shoot at the enemy from here. He's also got a gorilla for company who's well positioning himself directly in front which is not a good idea. He's kindly suggesting please go elsewhere. Now that wasn't the unusual thing that he's actually done but it is correct thing because you shouldn't have two arties close together because if you do they're easier to spot, and that means you'll get discovered by the enemy quicker. Okay, well, he's aiming for the other end of the map at the moment, looking in that square. There's not really somebody in those bushes. He fires in and pulls away before we get to see what happened to the shell. So he doesn't know if there's an enemy tank there, but, well, he can see two enemy tanks here. This is a T-150 and a KV-2. And, well, he's going to go for the... KV-2 first because the T-150 is now in cover and he gets a nice hit for 66. Now he just needs to keep applying the pressure on these enemy tanks, keep firing in as fast as he can and he should earn a lot of hit points that way. Go for the DW, the douchebag wagon. I know it sounds terrible when you say it that way. That was a penetrating round that one. Two, 433. The alpha damage is 410, so if we get 433, he must have penetrated him. Okay, IKB 65-2. No, he's going to go for the Panzer 4H. He pulls back into cover, so he has to go back to the IKB 65-2. Trying to line up a shot on him. There he is. Rounds out. Direct hit. 40 hit points. Kind of persuades the IKB that's probably not a good idea to be there, but he's just pulled back a little bit and takes a huge hit. And that was a penetrating round as well for 386. The team of four tanks up on the enemy now. Trying to get that IKB 65. He's pulled back into cover. Difficult shot. There he is. Okay, maybe he can get that one through the gaps. Yes, he does. Takes out the IKB. So he's got his first kill. Next target, uh, KV-1S. Fully dialed in. Now, rounds out. Direct hits. 98 hit points off that one. The enemy arty's been spotted, but he's busy with these tanks in the town, so he's going to keep going at these ones. He's aiming short at the tracks, which is a good idea, because if you overshoot, the shell will actually hit the main body of the vehicle. There's the IKB-103, overshoots that one because he was aiming at the position he was before he pulled forward. Okay, he lines up another shot, a blind shot, and kills the IKB! So that's the second kill. Going for the KV-2. Can he get a shot and target in this one? Lining him up. Rounds out. Direct hit, 145. Now one more round on that spot, and he might take him out. Rounds out. Just landed long. The yeah, KV-2 still there, but he can be taken out with one round. And he looks overhead and you can see it's on target. And he gets the kill. So three kills now. There's only four enemy tanks left, including the Rart. And he fires at the enemy. Fifi gets a direct hit for 168. Right into his side and in, his rear, actually. And there's only two enemies left. This is a very fast battle. The Panzer 4H and the KV-1S just around the other side of the church. And Churchill comes around one side, the IKV goes around the other. And I don't think this battle is going to last very much longer. Wait for it. Wait for it. There you go. <laughs> and the game's over. Yeah, well, what he did was unusual. He decided that instead of actually aiming at the tanks out of town, he decided he was going to aim in the town. And just look at the end of battle results. He got a nice tanker out of this one. 
a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got 12 and he got a high caliber in that game for just by changing where he was aiming, he actually ended up with an ace. 6,795 was the win eight from that battle. So uh, a very good game for him. Um, not so good for the gorilla that mo he moved on, but that guy didn't get any kills and he only got 370 hit points, whereas Steel Mike managed to get 2,419 hit points out of that ga game. He was streets ahead of the best, uh, the rest. 1,527 to the IK65-2 and 912 to the VK301P. And the Churchill 7 managed to get a steel wall and that was the only other award that was made during the game. When it came to kills, he shared the top spot with the VK30 1P. They both got three kills. They wouldn't have platooned because the VK was already platooned with another VK. And he didn't have any... Well, he did have two kills. But uh, they, he wouldn't have been able to get them a brothers in arms. And when it came to base XP, yes, he's got the top in that column as well. So he's got the top in all. 1,117 goes to, to Steel Mike. 675 goes to the IKV652. And 648 goes to the Panzer Mark IV H. He fired 17 rounds, got 12 direct hits, 5 penetrations. You see the number of penetrations on this round, a lot. 8 splash, damage of 2,419 hit points, all of it at more than 300 meters. He hit 8 of the enemy, but killed 3 and did 871 hit points of damage assistance. On a premium count, he earned 62,276 credits, and after re resupply of ammunition and consumables, he actually ended up with 40,100 credits. He received one bond for the high caliber, 1,675 XP, 670 for this being a premium vehicle, and 1,675 for personal reserves, so he took away 4,021 altogether. He said, Fifi, a town can be fun if the Reds work with you. Well, the enemy did work with him on this occasion, and there was plenty of targets that he could actually hit, and he was lucky that he got two kills on the IKVs, a 103 and a 65-2 in good positions. And, well, everything seemed to work out well for him. So, uh, yes, an ace tanker by aiming solely into town and not at the guys out in the field. He did fire that one blind shot into the field. I think that was actually, uh, well, I think he, he, he realised that that wasn't going to hit anything. But uh, everything he hit in the city seemed to bring up, um, well, a bit of reward for him. So, well done, Steel Mike. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel, please leave a comment down below and thanks for watching.